Yeah, I'm going to go and click on my bookmark down here in the lower left so I can start from myself. And then I'll go up to the Reports tab and click on Other Reports. Then I'll go down to where it says Origins Report. And here's where you've got uh, three different tabs. So the first one, how far back do you want to go? I'm going to, I'm going to start off with two so I can show you the differences. And everything there looks good. And then I'm going to tell it to include my private and invisible individuals. That's for another time. But let me click on Preview. Oh, well, that wasn't exciting. Looking back two generations uh, of the six uh, my six uh, direct ancestors within those generations it looks like I'm 100% U.S. Well, and so you change this. Okay, good. Those are still checked. Let's go to five generations. And you can see it starts uh, going into Denmark, England, Canada, uh, Sweden. Well, if I, if I go back to, let's, let's just type in 20. Click on Preview. That's how I created that report that I was showing uh, a little bit earlier. And here's my Irish um, bar in the graph here. And so looking specifically up here, this is where I get the 1.1%. And 17 of the 1,560 direct line or ancestors there in my direct line uh, were born in Ireland. And so this is showing me the distribution of the birthplaces of those on my direct line. So uh, go ahead and, and uh, try it yourself. Now, of course, this is only as accurate as the information that you've already gathered and added into Legacy. And so the more complete uh, you have your information in there, uh, the better, more accurate this is going to uh, be for you. You can uh, print this, create a PDF, and email it to somebody and so on. Now it's also going to be as, only be as accurate as the uh, the places that you've typed in. So if, if you've got some weird abbreviations or some uh, some weird stuff in there, it's it'll change things. And there's a I like doing I like using this. This helps me uh, notice possible problems with some of my places for those people. So I'm going to put a check mark where it says include a list of any unrecognized locations. I'll click preview and watch what happens. I think it'll show up on the second page. Yeah, good. Look at this. Unrecognized locations. So I've got, well, I've got one here that's called probably Ireland. And so if I go into Henry Patton and do a little more research on on uh, his family, and I do learn that he's of Ireland, then this number up here from Ireland will probably uh, change just a little bit. Okay. I also mentioned that I'd uh, show you how to create a list of all individuals, even if they're not just on your direct line, uh, who may have been born in Ireland, died in Ireland, and, and other things. And so uh, one place to start, you can go up to the Search tab, and click on Find. And my favorite one of the various tabs to use is the Detailed Search tab. And uh, here's a, an example of if you want to find all individuals where their birthplace, um, I'm going to leave it at equal to. You see I've got some choices here. If I say equal to and I type in Ireland and I click on Create List, I'll probably get no records were found. Um, that's because there's probably other other uh, information that's part of the location. Uh, so if I say the birthplace needs to contain these characters right there, and I click on Create List, I'll get I'll get what I was expecting. It although I got it over on my second monitor. Let me bring it bring it over here. So uh, there's my search list. It contains 68 individuals, um, and 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 that's my list of of my Irish ancestors or those uh, of, in my family file that were born in Ireland anyways. If I, well, first notice that some of these people are in bold. Okay, that's an indication that those people are on my direct line. Okay, and the others, uh, maybe cousins, second cousins, third cousins, and so on. And you know what? Well, I was just thinking, I think I'll show you while I'm thinking about it. 
how to get these to show up this way, to be marked as bold. To do so, you've got to uh, first navigate to yourself. And when you click on the Tools menu, one of the choices here is called Set Direct Line. Okay, so when you click on that and you click on this button here, then it will go through your entire file and it will mark all of all of your direct line people. So when you go back into uh, search, it's really easy to pick those people out. Okay, and so finally, I'd like to show you how to print this list out. Pretty easy. Just click on print. And then uh, before you print it, give it a name. So this will be my Irish-born ancestors. And by default, this right here doesn't show up where it says relationships. Let me see if I can change this back to what yours will look like. Okay, these are the choices that you'll see by default. I like to turn a couple. Of, I like to turn that one off, and let's put a birth and a death. But uh, I also want to know how they're related to me, so I'm going to just replace one of these potential fields with the one called relationship. And when I put a check mark there. It'll show up on the report. I also like to have this turned on so it will just uh, format it really nicely for me on the page. Let's click on preview and just see what I get. Oh, it, oh, it it re uh, it erased my title. So my Irish-born ancestors. Now let's click preview. Here we go. So I've got four pages here that I can work with, and I can also see here in this column how specifically those people are related to me. Okay. All right. I've got a I've got a few questions here that you've typed in about uh, what I've been showing you. So uh, Celia is asking, what did I do to add that relationship? Well, here on the row one tab. I clicked right here where it says customize and I just chose one of these field names to replace by clicking on the button with the three dots and then that's when you can go and pick any of the fields uh, that are available. Okay. And you're seeing on my name it says Provo, Utah, Utah, United States. Why is that? Yeah, right here. Yeah, this is it's just showing that I was born in the city of Provo, county of Utah, state of Utah, country of United States. So I just start at the lowest level of jurisdiction and work my way up. Um, Denise, what do the numbers on the report mean? I don't remember. Sorry, I don't remember what it was. That, uh, if you write in, if you're still here, then... Uh, uh, be specific. Uh, Susan is asking, is there a best place to start learning the legacy program? Uh, yeah, there actually is. Uh, it's right here on our on our familytreewebinars.com website. And this is something that I added oh, just a few months ago. Click right here where it says legacy videos. And if you're thinking about using legacy, then go and watch this quick intro. It's just a minute and a half. Uh, here's a, a class I did called Legacy for Beginners, and so this will give you a good introduction, uh, get get your feet wet. This is a, a another webinar that I did. It's probably similar information in this, although uh, you'll usually learn something different from each. Uh, let me scroll down. These after webinar parties I've been adding to the Legacy Quick Tips section, and so here you can learn. Uh, about some of these types of things. We've also had entire, well, we uh, last year I did specific webinars called virtual legacy user group meetings, and I put the, those up here. Um, this year I'm, I'm, I'm kind of doing this education as part of the after webinar parties. And uh, then at the very bottom, uh, entire webinars just on different, uh, different topics on using legacy. Yeah, there's a lot, well, a lot in it, uh, all, and you don't have to to know it all at once, but it's there for when you're ready for it. Um, Pat's asking about where do you find the chat logs? Yeah, I'll show you. So go up to where it says webinar library up on our website 
and you'll go where it says uh, click on view to whatever webinar you want to look at and there's the button okay so that's where you can look at the chat logs for past webinars thanks to Ruth Stangs for uh, forwarding those to me each time anything else how do I set myself in the bookmarks question from Barbara yeah, so look down here. I've got three separate uh, bookmark areas. Those are just my what I call the quick bookmarks because using this bookmark button, I can have about 200 of them or something. Um, so if yours is blank and you look right here, it'll say right-click to set a bookmark. So all you need to do is just right-click and then it adds that person's name. So that means, uh, and you can do that for your favorite three people. So just click on Johannes Geckler and that takes me right over to him, Samuel McCall, and uh, go back to myself. Cookies asking, how do I show these relationships here on the family page? Yeah, right above each person it shows how that person is related to me. I just turned that on uh, by going up to the tools tab and click on set relationships and there's some things you can play around with in here but just click on set relationships and that'll go in um, and set them and I think I've I think I've covered most of your questions here okay Constance uh, I use another program but would really like to move into legacy with all the information you're demonstrating transfer over if I use a JEDCOM to transfer data. Yeah, that'd be the way to import your information from uh, your software constants. And uh, once in, the, in your software, just look around for how to create a, what's called a JEDCOM file. And then after you install Legacy, you'll get a screen. Oh, that's a small one. You'll get a screen that looks like, like this. Just click where it says Import from another program. And uh, you can import from uh, these versions of PATH or just uh, click right here. If you want to know how to create these JEDCOM files in other programs, click there. And then just click Next Step a few times, and then you'll end up with your family here in the family view. Uh, question, which version of Legacy are, am I looking at right now? Uh, I'm actually in Legacy 8. Uh, yeah, you're saying my screen looks different than yours. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, yeah, when you install Legacy, there's a uh, sorry about that. When you install Legacy, there's a couple of different themes that you can uh, select from. Uh, what I do, if you right-click anywhere in this area, you can click where it says Change Color Scheme. And is that the one I wanted to click on? Just a second. Yeah, change color scheme. And then right here it says choose an alternate color scheme. You can change every specific individual little part of the screen if you want to. Or uh, I went, well, there's one in there called vin Vintage. And it's, it's my style. It's the one that I like the best. I think the one that comes with Legacy is... Uh, Let's see what the default is. And uh, some people like this. Some people like the blues. That looks pretty in some areas. I'm a I'm a bigger fan of vintage, and so so I don't get upset with myself here. Let me switch it back to how I like it. There we go. Okay, cookie. Cook, uh, yeah, several of you. Why is my wife showing up as 13th Cousins? Well, it shows the closest blood relationship. So because it doesn't show wife here, uh, it indicates that I'm related to her more than one way. Whenever there's a plus sign after the relationship, now you know that uh, you're related to that person more than once. So let me right-click on the relationship. Where it says View Additional Relationships, I'll click. And this shows me that uh, in addition to she being my wife, she's also my 13th cousin and my 13th cousin once removed. And down below it, it shows me how, uh, you know, why. So if I start on me and I go to my mother and follow her line, I'll eventually get to this couple. And if I start on my wife and I follow 
her line will get to the same couple as well. And I like to go here, click on print, and click on preview. And this shows me visually how we're related. So if you follow, you start at this ancestors couple up here, go down the left, you'll get to me, and you go down the right, and you'll get to my wife. So that's how, that's how we're related by blood. All right, guys, uh, that was fun. I'm going to go work on, let's see, a few things. Go publish this so it's online. I'm going to go have some lunch, and I'll go rest this back. <laughs> Thanks for being here. See you next time.